Hi, this is Cookie Masterson, host of the popular YouTube series, Ways to Not Cook a Chicken Pot Pie. And Fibbage, I host that too. Wow, four players. Let me check Guinness and uh, see if this is a world record. No, no, not even close. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. True fact. Ernest Hemingway was so manly, or lucky, that he survived two different blank on consecutive days in 1954. Now, use your device to enter a bluff that you think will fool the other players into thinking it's true. If you get stuck for half the points, you can use the help button and get a suggestion. Do it now! Okay, there are your choices. Find the truth and enter it on your device by touching the answer you want. Okay, what did everyone pick? And that's it. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. The lady who was arrested for defecating in a box of security tags inside a Wisconsin Kmart was wearing a t-shirt that appropriately read blank. Enter your lies now. Where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. She really wears her shirt on her sleeve. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Fans of bizarre sporting events rejoice. On April 15th, 2015, the English town of Rugby hosted the very first international blank tournament. Write your lies now.
Okay, find the truth. Who picked what? <laughs> Officially making bowling the second laziest sport. And nobody picked any of these other lies. Two, which means all point values are doubled. And don't forget to use that defibrillator if you haven't already. It's gone after round two. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. When putting her house on the market in 2015, an Indonesian woman gave potential buyers a unique incentive. If you buy the house, it comes with blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. Nobody picked the other lies up there. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In November of 1954, Ann Hodges of Alabama was just napping on her couch when she went down in history as the first confirmed person to blank. Input your lies now. Take a look and find the truth. <laughs> All right, let's see what everybody picked. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Time to pick a category. Well, we ain't waiting forever. Okay, here's the question. 
According to Norse legend, warriors in Valhalla get unlimited blank from a goat named Hadrun. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. And we're done. You're about to enter the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. And now, your final fibbage question. The funny-sounding common name of the fish species Helicor... Okay, here are your choices. Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> and these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected.
Hi, I'm your host, Cookie, and remember, if anything goes wrong, secure your own Fibbage gas mask first before helping others. A four-person game. All right, let's leave everything out there today. No regrets. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience people can play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. Groundbreaking therapist Dr. Ramani Dervasula helps couples improve their communication skills by making them blank together. Enter your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Okay, let's take a look. And the rest of the board goes unselected. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. The last private citizen who lived at 10 Downing Street, the British Prime Minister's current office and residence, was a man with the strange name of blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? <laughs> All right, who picked what? And that means... Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. The official slogan for the 2015 North American Manure Expo held in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania was 2015 Manure Expo, blank. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth?
<laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. There is a rumor the world's top manure expert will give a speech next year, but I wouldn't hold my breath. And the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And don't let that defibrillator sit unused. It disappears after round two. All right, take a category. Okay, here's the question. During the spring of 2014, San Francisco experienced an odd rash of crimes in which vandals were specifically tipping over blank. Input your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? And that means some of these didn't get picked. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2011, a man in Kern County, California, died in a most unusual way after getting stabbed by a blank. Write your lies now. Where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. Great lie there. Man, those things really go out of their way to wake you up. And that means... Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In April of 2015, a Colorado Springs man was issued a summons after he became upset and shot his blank eight times. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> All right.
right, let's see what everybody picked. And it was also... That was weird. That was a complete whiff. And just one lie goes unpicked. Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. The odd real name of the famous philanthropist who is called the First Lady of Texas. Type in your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Good lying there, well fibbed. And look what we have here. I'm a hog. Giving money was known to make her squeal with delight. I know, I know, I shouldn't pork fun at her like that. Suey. I mean, sue me. And nobody picked any of these other lies. This guy! Look up here! Welcome to this invitation-only secret art auction. The world's richest, most powerful art buyers wanted desperately to attend. But clearly my sense of patience needed strengthening because... Somehow, you four were invited. Yes, please. This guy! Look up your... Me! Just stay in one place so you don't leave a trail of grime everywhere. 
Regardless, before we get started, we'll need some art to auction off. If you look at your device, you'll see I've securely transmitted the title of an art piece I'll need you to draw. Draw a piece of art with your device that would have that title as quickly and as accurately as you can. Take a few extra moments to make it near Van Gogh quality. If someone else buys your art in the auction, you'll receive 50% of the auction price. Waiting is so last year, so draw quickly. You'll actually need to draw two drawings before this timer runs out, so don't be too precious about it. For what it's worth, we're approximately halfway through the allotted drawing time. So, if you haven't moved on to your second drawing yet, it's time to admit that you're stalling for time. I've received all of your art. A few quick words about how the auction is going to work. We're going to auction off 10 drawings. Some drawings are worth a great deal of money to the art buyers who couldn't attend the auction, and others are worth a great deal less. You'll each begin the auction with $3,000 to use to buy art, although you'll make more when another player buys one of your drawings. Our art buyers will send each of you different information about exactly what they're willing to pay for a few of the drawings. The buyers are lonely, so expect to hear from them at the beginning of each new auction. In fact, you should have your first message on your device now. Remember, you can and should try to buy any drawings you suspect might be worth something. Or if you just don't want someone else to have it. Whoever has made the most profit by the end of the game wins. The first item up for bid. How about we start the bidding at $400? I'm looking for $400. Do I have $400? I'm looking for $400. Can I get four? me? Now I'm looking for this guy. Next up is six hundred dollars. Do I see six hundred dollars? Will some me? Next is seven hundred dollars. Do I see seven hundred dollars? I would like to get seven hundred dollars. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations are in order to Red for winning that auction. Let's see which artist was responsible for this artistic masterpiece. All right, Gray. Half of this money goes to the house, and the other half goes to you. It's very small. But more importantly, let's see how much Red can sell this piece of art for. We'll just set this money aside for you, Red. We will add it to your tally at the end of the game. Moving on. The bidding will begin at four hundred. This guy! I'm looking for is five. Look up here! You are this guy! Now I'd like eight hundred dollars. Look up here! Who this guy! Who can show me eleven hundred? Look up here! Who can show me twelve hundred dollars? Next up is twelve hundred dollars. I would like to see twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars. Going once. Going twice. This guy! Can I get $1,300? Look up here! $1,400. This guy! Now we're at $1,500. I'm looking for $1,500. Who would like to show me $1,500? Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congratulations, Gray! 
I believe the saying is yikes. Moving right along. How about we start the bidding at $400? Do I see four? Me! Now I'm looking for $500. Yes, please. Next is this guy. Now I'm looking for $800. Me! I am looking for $900. Things are getting interesting now. Enjoy this moment. Realize it is rushing past you and will be forever lost if you are not willing to bid $900. Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congratulations, Red! Moving on. The bidding will begin at 400. Me! I am looking for is 500. Look up here! Who can give me $700? Can I get me? Next up is this guy. Can I see nine? Me! One. This guy. Twelve. Look up here! But this guy. Who can show me $1,400? If you're like me, you'll spend $1,400 on a good steak any day of the week. So what is it to you to not bid $1,400? on this slice of immortality resting before us. Going once. Going twice. Sold! Congrats, Gray. Well, someone's coffers are lined. Next up. Oh, look, it's the lone people. Running low on money? Predatory loans can help. Just press the loan button on your device now and get $1,000 that you can use in auctions right away. Oh sure, at the end of the game you will owe back $1,500. But don't think about that now. And remember, if you want to borrow money between auctions, just hit the Call Predatory Loans button on your device. Predatory Loans! It's a horrible deal, but you might not have a choice. How about we start the bidding at $400? I'm looking for four... Me! The next bid is $700. What I am looking for, and I suspect I will find, is a bid of $700. If you must own this... Look up here! Now I'd like... A this guy! Do I... Me! Uh, this guy! Now I... Look up here! Can I get 1200 Me! Can I get... Look up here! Now I am scanning the horizon for $1,400. I had hoped you were serious art buyers. Don't make me a fool. Raise your paddle and show me $1,400, please. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Blue. Ooh, ouch. Moving along. We've reached the halfway point. Let's give everyone a reason to get angry at each other. You each have one screw. Use it to force another player to bid, assuming they still have enough money. Use it whenever you want. Wonderful. Someone called the bank. Predatory loans! Honestly, we don't think the host is really British. The bidding will begin at 400. All right, Blue. Look. Don't look now, Gray. You're screwed. We have 400. I would like $500. $500 is what I would Me! Can I get $600? What I am currently looking for is $600. What you must ask yourself is am I the type of person that can let this piece of artwork slip from my life because I This guy. Next is set Look up here. Now this guy. I am looking for $900. Me. 1000 
garbage guy. Now I'd like to see 1100. Can I get 1100? Me! Who can show me $1200? Next up is $1200. I would like to see 1200. $1200. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Red. Bravo, successful art collector. Green. Is everything all right? How about we start the... Look up here. Now we're looking for $600. This place. This guy. Next up is 800 Look up here. This guy. Now I would... Look up here. This guy. Oh, hello. Look up here. This guy. The next... Look up here. Up next... Green, you rascal. Look down at your device. They don't have enough money to meet that bid, so you wasted that screw. Show me $1,700. Can I get $1,700? I am looking for $1,700, please. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Blue. Well, look who hit the jackpot. On we go. The bidding will begin at 400. This place. We are. Look up here. The next bid will be six. This guy. Next is seven. This place. Now I'd like me. Do I see nine hundred dollars? This place. This guy. Now I'd like to see eleven. This place. This guy. Now I would like to see thirteen. This place. This guy. Do I see sixteen hundred? This place. We okay, Gray. All oh, red. You got screwed. Me! 1,700. Do I see $1,800? Yes, please. Give me $1,900. I would like $1,900. I am looking for $1,900. So who can show me $1,900? Going once. Going twice. Sold. You won this one, Green. Nothing but caviar and champagne from now on. Moving right along. The bank again? Seriously? Predatory loans! Don't be scared, it's only your future. How about we start the bidding at $400? Me! Do I see $700? Who This place. This guy. Who can show me $1,100? Me! Can I get... This guy. $1,500? Can I get $1,500? I would like $1,500. We are looking for $1,500. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Gray. Look at all that fake money you earned. Moving on. This is my least favorite thing. Predatory loans. We really hope that you don't read the fine print. The bidding will begin at 400. Yes, please. Now I'm... Look up here. Who can give me... Look up here! Not me! Who can this place? Show me! Look up here! Who can show me Fort? This place! Now look up here! We are looking for sixteen hundred dollars. What do I want? Sixteen hundred dollars. When do I want it? Whenever Alright, Red. Look down at your device and pick a player. You can't screw someone who can't afford it. Consider your screw wasted. We are now looking for $1,600. Do I see $1,600? Who here can give me $1,600? Going once. Me! We 
Look up your... 1800 The next bid is $1,800. I am looking for $1,800. Me! Look up your... How about $2,000? Who here can show me $2,000? I am looking for $2,000. Going once. Going twice. Sold. Congratulations, Blue. Well, well, sumptuous. And how did everyone do? Oh great, our new interns have arrived. I'm your boss, Greg, but I'm also your friend. Here's your desk. You're going to have to share for now. It's awkward, I'm not going to lie. Let's get you started with a quick team building exercise. There is too much stuff on this desk. Let's smash something. Uh, the only problem is that three of these four items are important, so only one can be smashed. One of you has four buttons on your device, one for each item on the desk. The others each have one or more rules that when combined will determine which of the four items is worthless and can be smashed. You will need to work together so that the person with the buttons knows which one to push. Working together, you smash that picture of Trevor's family. Oh, Trevor used to work at this desk, but he doesn't need that picture anymore because, uh, he died. I think this team is ready for some real work now. Here at Bomb Corp, we make lots of bombs, but we are very disorganized. Sometimes the bombs just start going off by themselves. We're not very good at making bombs that don't start going off by themselves. When that happens, the bomb's instruction manual will automatically appear on your devices, as well as buttons that let you cut wires. But be careful, the rules for how to defuse the bomb are spread across all of your devices. And all of you may not have the buttons to cut the wires, so you'll need to work together. Oh no. 
Here's one now. Defuse this bomb before time runs out, or it'll explode and kill us all. Great work on that bomb. Ah, oh, man, here's another bomb set to go off. Would you mind making sure this one doesn't blow up and kill us all? Sweden of Bob Disposal. Oh, thank goodness. I think you've earned a break. I just think if the whole world was a beach, then we would all be happy. Who doesn't love a beach? I once got an infection from sand fleas. Oh, so we'll only build beaches that don't have sand fleas. Okay, back to work. While you were on your coffee break, the bombs really started to stack up over here. I'm Linda. I know Greg is your boss, but don't question my authority. Defuse these three bombs before they explode and kill me. my only friend. Hey, good first day. Now it's time for me to go home to my apartment, which is also full of bombs. Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. You'll each receive a list of names on your device. Pressing the buttons one at a time, put the names in the correct order. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sucks. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> you, Megan. I mean, I'm glad we're alive. You're getting so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucks. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> more excited than a fire drill. You're getting so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucks. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs>
Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> Darn it, I was counting on that life insurance money. You're getting so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sucks. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> out of the break room fridge today at 4 p.m. Move it or lose it. You're getting so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sucks. Good luck. <laughs> tunnel shows how hard I work. Oh no! I'm turning into a ghost. Nope, I just accidentally spilled creamer on your hand. Here, let me wipe that off. Oh, did you feel that spark? 
Sorry about that filing. Blah, I hate the alphabet. Don't you? Oh, I have a much easier task for you. Defusing these three bombs before they kill everyone in the office. Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs>
Schmitty. That's spelled S C H Mitty. Glad to see you guys don't have anything better going on. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses, or quips, will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! I'd like to welcome almost all of you to Quiplash. Thanks for starting this game, guys. Got me out of jury duty. Let's get going. Time for round one. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Take a look. The first prompt is advice never stick your tongue into blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Forget coffee. Don't talk to me until I've had my blank. It's voting time. Next up, a sign you wouldn't want to see at a seafood restaurant. Vote on your devices. Slang term for impotence. Time to vote. Mm -hmm. 
And next is a terrible name for a cruise ship. Vote on your devices. Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. <laughs> Time for round two, where everything is worth two times as much as that silly round one. Okay, here we go. First up, how far is too far? Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next one, something you shouldn't use a chainsaw for. It's voting time. And next, the worst material with which to make a snowman. Time to vote. Okay, next one. The name of a clothing store for overweight leprechauns. Vote on your devices. Next up, a faster way to get home from the Land of Oz is to click your heels three times and say blank. It's voting time. Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. <laughs> this is round three, the last lash. Points are tripled and everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Your prompt is, make up a curse word.
ready to look. <coughs> Apply your votes. That's the end. Let's see the final scoreboard. Hello, I'm your host, Cookie, and if I start to randomly break down and cry, just hold on. It should only last 45 minutes. Five of you, I see. Did you make a reservation? No? That's okay, we'll figure it out. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience people can play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for everyone you fool. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Select a category. No, 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 that's okay. I've got it. Okay, here's your first question. For her wedding in 1840, Queen Victoria of Great Britain received the rather unusual gift of a 1,000 pound blank. 
Now use your device to type a lie that might fool the other players into believing it. If you get stuck, for half the points you can use the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it now! Okay, now find the truth and select it on your device. <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? And nobody picked the other lies up there. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. The last words that convicted murderer Robert Charles Comer spoke before his execution by lethal injection were not all that poignant, but they were unique. His last two words were simply blank. Write your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. Let's see what everybody picked. And that means... Pick a category. Okay, here's the question. The founder of this small Australian colony that eventually became Melbourne, Australia, was a man by the name of, believe it or not, John Blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Okay, let's take a look.
Most people liked John Batman, except that he kept muttering, This colony needs me. And just one lie goes unpicked. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And remember to use your defibrillator if you need a little jolt of help. Use it in round two or lose it. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. As if Iowa needed more excitement, an evacuation took place in the Iowa State Capitol in April 2015 due to blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody selected. And we're done. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. During a 2014 Philadelphia Eagles game, a man outside the stadium called police after a drunk woman ran off with his blank. Input your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. <laughs> All right, who picked to watch? The man tried to sue the drunk lady, but lawyers said he didn't have a leg to stand on. I'm sorry. And nobody picked any of these other lies. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. 
In a surprising 2008 survey by Ask Jeeves, it was found that a whopping 58% of British teenagers thought blank was real. Enter your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. Wow. Next thing you know, people will start believing that someone named Benedict Cumberbatch is real. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. You're about to enter the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. And now, your final fibbage question. The Welsh goat milk cheese that contains the word panty in its name. Write your lies now. Where's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? Here's something you might be interested in. And let's put this last one out of its misery. Hi, I'm your host, Cookie, and if at any point in this game I say awesome sauce, you have permission to hit me in the face. Five players! I'm supposed to ring this bell every time there is a five-player game. I usually forget. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. You can play along for your own personal score and vote for your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. 
And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's your first question. In Gaelic, the surname Kennedy means, unfortunately, blank head. Type in your lies now. Okay, find the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked. You know who's behind this? The government. Think about it. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Every March, the people of Nederland, Colorado, get together and celebrate blank days. Input your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Lots of suckers on that one. That was a complete whiff. Just a reminder that marijuana has been legalized in Colorado. And the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. In 2015, a woman from West Sussex, United Kingdom, who suffers from severe agoraphobia, a fear of going outside, finally got up the nerve to leave her house. And of course, once she was out there, she blank. Write your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? Wow. 
Let's see what everybody selected. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And don't forget to use that defibrillator if you haven't already. It's gone after round two. All right, pick a category. I'm prescribing another edition of Diagnosis, huh? Diagnosis, huh? A 2015 Dutch study attributed 45 men's flu-like symptoms to something called POIS, which is an allergy to blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? And you don't want to know where you have to stick the EpiPen. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. During a 2015 house party in the gated community of Monterey in Naples, Florida, a rather strange burglary took place when someone made off with roughly 200 pounds of blank. Input your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. Let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> and look what we have here. Which means that after using one of those coin counting machines at the grocery store, that person must have walked away with over five dollars. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked.
All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Performance artist Adrian Parsons did a gut-wrenching piece called Shrapnel, during which in front of a live audience he blank. Write your lies now. Where's the truth? <laughs> All right, who picked what? Critics hated it, but uh, luckily he still has a thick skin. And that's it. This is the final fibbage. One question left for all the marbles, and everything is worth triple. Good luck. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. The name of the horse meat jerky made by Cowley's Fine Foods. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? <laughs> okay, well, you all dropped the ball. I could never eat horse. Not as long as there's donkeys still around. And nobody picked any of these other lies.
Welcome to the game. I'm Josh Schmitzenstein, but you can call me Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein, or just Josh, or just Schmitty, but not just Schmitzenstein. Well, I hope everyone took their shoes off, because this game has fairly new carpeting. This is round one. You'll see two prompts on your device. Answer them any way you want. Each answer will go up against someone else's answer, and everyone will vote on which they like most. It's simple. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Start this show. First up, life hack. Lower your heating bills by. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Next up, something that should never be homemade. It's voting time. Okay, next one. A terrible name for a 1930s gangster. Time to vote. Coming up next, rename any famous work of literature so that it is ruined by the word but. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. <laughs> it's now time for round two. Everything is worth double, twice as much.
Okay. Let's take a look. First one, come up with a name for the most difficult yoga pose known to mankind. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next one, surprising first words for your baby to speak. Vote on your devices. And next is bad advice for new graduates. It's voting time. Next in line, come up with a name for a salad dressing by Lindsay Lohan. Time to vote. <laughs> Round two is now complete. Let's see who completed it well. And now, round three, the last lash. Point values are tripled, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Our prompt is... Make up a name for a silent film porno from the 1920s. Here's what you did. Okay, in this round, you have three votes to give to players. You can give them all to one player or spread them out. It's over. Let's take a look at the final scores.